Russian President Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine is growing more catastrophic for the Russian military, which has been losing territory in the country for the past several months. In an interview with the Daily Beast, United Kingdom Defense Secretary Ben Wallace outlined just how poorly things are going for Russia while also urging the Ukrainian military to keep pressing and maximize its advantages. A Russian unit was recently deployed with no food and no socks, and not many guns, Wallace told the publication. That is catastrophic for a person going in the field. The Russians have scale, but are not very good. Well, most of the good ones are dead. Wallace went on to describe the Russian strategy as being one giant meat grinder and he argued that only a nation that does not care for its own people could send 100,000 of its own people to be either dead, injured, or deserted, Wallace said that it was no time for Ukraine to rest on its laurels, however. Given the advantage the Ukrainians have in equipment training and quality of their personnel against the demoralized, poorly trained, poorly equipped Russians, it would be in the Ukraine's interest to maintain momentum through the winter, he argued. Meantime, Vasily Nebenzaya, Russian permanent representative to the United Nations, has said that Russia aims to impair Ukraine's military potential in order to force it to negotiate on what he describes as more realistic terms. Speaking at the latest UN Security Council meeting, summoned due to Russia's massive strikes of Ukraine's infrastructure including critical energy facilities, he openly admitted why Russia is bombing Ukraine. One of the goals of the special military operation is to undermine the Ukrainian army's combat capabilities. And it will be attained by military means until the Kyiv regime takes a realistic position, which will make it possible to discuss and try to settle those problems, which have prompted us to launch the special military operation, he said. Claiming that Western military aid is flooding the country, and describing the calls for Kyiv to defeat Russia as reckless, Nebenzaya emphasized that Russian forces are deliberately bombing Ukraine's infrastructure facilities. He also claimed that NATO and Ukraine's so-called Western sponsors are deriving colossal profit from the war in Ukraine, and use Ukrainians to test NATO weapons and establish hegemony in the region. Speaking to the Security Council, President Volodymyr Zelensky emphasized that the barrages of missiles are the Russian formula of terror and called for Russia to be denied a vote on any decision concerning its actions. We cannot be hostage to one international terrorist, he said. Russia is doing everything to make an energy generator a more powerful tool than the UN Charter. While Russia's actions prompted condemnation from the US permanent representative to the UN and Rosemary DiCarlo, the UN Under Secretary General for Political and Peacebuilding Affairs, warned of the devastation caused by Russia's relentless attacks, it is unlikely that the UN Security Council will take any action. Despite widespread backlash, the UN has so far refused to introduce any drastic reforms that would deprive Russia of its veto or temporarily suspend it. To find out more on the issue, watch the interview with Ukraine's permanent representative to the UN Sergei Kislytsev. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.